Welcome to another episode of the Why Not, where we talk about wine, everything about Australian wine, more wine. So why not? May I introduce our guest today, Chef Ngô Thanh Hòa and uh, Phát Võ, the sommelier. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Ngô Thanh Hòa. I'm a chef, probably about 10 years, but I lived in Australia for about 20 years. I moved back to Vietnam because you know I'm Vietnamese and I love to uh, give back to what I have learned uh, back to Australia. I'm Phát Võ and I'm a poor community for the Sommelier Association. So welcome to the Why Not. Yes, yeah. why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> <More> why? <laughs> <laughs> Young generation of Vietnam love to study more about wine. They hungry to know more about wine. And of course, wine and food pairing is very, very interesting subject to everyone. So the first question is, what is the target of wine and food pairing. Today we have a chef, we have a sommelier. I would like to hear from you, from your side as a chef, from your side as a sommelier. Well, as a chef uh, and, you know, and as a Vietnamese, and I love to promote Vietnamese food to, you know, and encourage young Vietnamese and new generation to enjoy the food and wine. So that's what I want. And that's what I would like to introduce food and wine pairing uh, to target for young Vietnamese, to encourage them to enjoy more and to see that uh, Vietnamese food can pair in well with wine. Not only is it about the uh, you know Western food. At the sommelier or maybe at the consumer, right? Uh, wine food pairing is actually really simple because I don't want to have the bad dynamic pairing. Basically, wine food pairing to me is like how can I say? You elevate the clary uh, scent in yourself, uh, in your fruit, and you like mm -hmm. how to say like feel more, and you feel the connection also. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes like only the food is good, and only the wine is good by itself. But uh, we can collab two really good things, become a bigger one. Actually, I since I study about wine and being a sommelier, a lot of people ask me a question. What is the good bottle of wine? And it's difficult, but it's very simple to answer this question. Yeah. Uh, it should be an empty bottle, right? When yeah. we drink mm. it, we enjoy, we experience it. It yeah. means that this is a good bottle of wine. Yeah. The good bottle of wine is depend a lot on our feeling, yeah. on our partner, and on our food. The That's people right. you have with, the crowd, you know, and also, you know, you say, you know, is it the moment? Yeah, yeah so the vibe today with the two gentlemen, the <laughs> chef and the sommelier, I would say that we should open the bottle. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I think uh, we've been refreshed a uh, working day by a glass of wine first and yeah. then Mr. Hua will choose something to, to pair, pair with, right? with okay. this bottle of wine. Oh, okay. Okay. We can't hungry though. Uh, oh. yeah. So beautiful white wine. It's really good that the, the fragrance you see that, right? Because very like floral, like floral very fresh. A bit of grassy in there, but then like yes. super refreshed, you no? Know? Very feminine, very lady. Yeah. <laughs> The, the refreshing, the acidity, like really, really intense stuff. You know, it's just a beautiful wine, and the colors still like really, really nice, like light gold, and oh. so refresh. You know, I'm I'm thinking with this wine, um, the dish is going well with. It's just something is very light. This one is go well with the summer roll, or you call it cool. The dish is like everyone uh, know about our cuisine. You know, everyone you know is everywhere available, everywhere, every corner of <laughs> on the street. On right. the street, you on can just vendor. grab on the way yeah. home. You get a summer roll, <laughs> you get a bottle of wine, and you have a friend, or even you know, we quickly make at home as well. Yeah. I'm a fan of Goi like, Kun too, so <laughs> let's I love go. To. Let's <laughs> go. Okay. <laughs> Do we have any rules or policy uh, to pair the wine with the food and the food with the wine? At the chef, we when we create a menu, we're only thinking of oh, light food from the beginning for start with, and then moving to slowly moving to a heavy one. So all we have a champagne, we only have a wine, wine, something very light. You know, get like slowly, slowly build up, kind of like a the uh, the move, um, you know, into a heavy one, and then the red wine is only is the main course and then come back with a bit of a sweet to finish dessert 
So this is the menu and the, as a chef, we always go with that. You know, yeah. I, depend on, you know, like what is a light wine, what is heavy wine, then you have to go in individual. What is you know, kind of, you know, the menu, what you create, what cuisine you're using. So that will be another kind of a step as well. So what happened if we have everything on the table, like Vietnamese family, we always have all the food on the table, not dividing course by course, like appetizer, main course, or desserts. At home, yes. we don't separate course by course. Well, so what is the safe way to choose a wine to <laughs> pair with everything on the table? In that case, I think we just choose something very neutral, uh, yeah. the wine, to be able to have with the, the meal. It's something have to be red or white, it doesn't matter, but as long as you enjoy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, as long as your family, everyone can have it. But normally Vietnamese, you know, prefer red wine. So they please some, choose something is quite, quite light, not too heavy. And that means you can have something, you know, seafood or meat, red meat, white meat as well at the same time. They have Vietnamese uh, a la carte, we said like family meal, right? When they had a bunch of dish, like we had the really soupy one, we had like heavy one, a lot of fish out. And meat, a lot of soy as well. So, so uh, to me, a really safe choice, like I said, we try to do something, uh, maybe a bottle, can they go well with any kind of food? That means rose all the time. <laughs> and so, like, say, honey, hot. <laughs> and a bottle of pure rose, it really has a refreshing and it's easy to drink. My mom uh, doesn't drink that much, so that's why, like, rose yeah. is a nice choice. Yeah. Anything should avoid when we do pairing? When I do pairing, I always um, check with the guests. Um, you know, and make sure that the guests are coming for dinner or for that particular menu. They are prefer what they prefer. So then, you know, and then you can avoid less uh, conflict and less, you know, uh, disagree for certain guests and all that wine. You kind of do everything perfect. And you kind of predict everything is like as you want because you make your taste. For example, like at the chef, we cook something and we, we wish that, you know, the, the, the dish will create a base on what we have based on what in common sense the people coming to restaurant or people coming to enjoy the food will enjoy it not we say okay i cook this one you gotta mother have this one or you must say yes that's the good dish no so that is not a food. that's a you know my philosophy when you create a menu i say well look at the crowd look at the customer coming look at the group they're coming are they happy something they they have in common pick up with a few things and you create and you pair with that that's just my what my point Mm -hmm. uh, we have like assemble uh, a dinner for a group of people or maybe a family, right? So I'm normally gonna go ask a lot of the questions like, "Hey, are you vegetarian or are you vegan?" Mm -hmm. Because I'm gonna take up like a, a vegan bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. uh, are you like follow in the philosophy you like organic, like only consumer organic like oh, produce? Oh yeah. So we have to take care about that. So okay, when you ask the customer one thing, you want to drink a lot, of business. I mean, mm -hmm. like you want to be have a wine dinner. You want to have like a really casual dinner with food mm. and the wine is like a condiment, so that is the idea, you know, right? Mm. Yeah, like uh, we all know the wine only is like a background for the food. Mm. The food might be in the lamp line, in the spot mm. line, mm. shining like that, the red head of the show. Mm. And uh, but the time we get, we had a lot of customers like love wine and fancy like the white connoisseur, and mm. they had the really good dinner for wine, so for. I think like the request from the customer and second the reference. When mm. you talk more about like, like with the customer, you know that okay, you had the reference, right? You love this one, you hate that one. So I try to like minimum down that. But you cannot say no. So as you mentioned before, this bottle will go so well with Goi Kun. Yes. Let's go and find out. Uh -huh. National <laughs> staple. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a national I'm staple. The I, I, hope, I hope to get my uh, a right recommendation, right? So you go first. Okay, lady first. Oh, okay, um, thank you. You better hurry up to get no. I'm hungry now. They <laughs> <laughs> dive in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God, did this here. Has some stock. Oh, has some stock there. Now, well, Kumi has to eat a hand because that's the thing, you know. It's oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Because the next no staple, right? Mm. We don't do it with like chopstick. Mm. That's so on. I'm mm. only feeling so good with like one, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Let me have some wine. Mm. Why not, right? Hmm. Mm. 
the wine is got it is smooth a fruity um you know it's a very muller at the end you you have one vibe got cool it's like very street food very simple dish in vietnam and it just really get well i mean my person i'm sorry is is all about you uh what do you think we never think that the wine can go with this kind of sauce this is uh bean 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 right bean, fermented, yeah. Yeah, fermented yeah, bean, bean sauce right, yeah. it's quite fat mm. uh, a little bit acidity but mm. this bottle is not so much acidity it's mm. quite a little bit nutty yeah so mm. it's also so well it's a fermented bean, bean sauce right? it's yeah. so cool and the herb also bring more aromas of the yeah. herbaceous in this yeah. bottle yeah. how do you think uh, to me, like first of all, I have to like deconstruct the the spring roll, the gai gong, right? So we had the rice paper cover, a bit of starchy when you like chewing that. Mm -hmm. So it's really love to that of of the taste of the yeah. stash. And then we had like you said the fresh herb, we had salad in there, and uh, me, I had like a like, cumin, and then like the seafood, you had the yeah. shrimp, right? the broth. Yeah. And uh, you said the wine, the burden is hard. That's one either the, the fermented nut, and it has something really nuts in it, but. My kind of thing in this wine, it had a good acidity, refreshing, the grassy in it. It really go well with the, the, the fresh up in here. Yeah. And also like the the fresh acidity kind of cut really clean too. We don't have too much like appetite for the like gong and the salt. Yeah. yeah. Before, but then it like cut too. We had the really clean finish and we can like have more, have more, have more. <laughs> like that. I think the um, the street Vietnamese food with wine. So why not? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Why not? Cheers. Can I have more one? <laughs> what do you think about uh, how we do the wine food pairing? Is that compliment or is that contract? Oh, order the food first and when you eat it, we get we had a bite glass at breakfast yeah. you know, right now. So I saw like a lot of reference in Saigon. They had a really good wine list and also like one bite glass uh, list. Have food first. You feel oh, is food too much for you? Uh, try to do some like contract pairing. Mm. But if you said oh, this is a good dish, I want to like have the, the the explosion, the big bang feeling. Try to get the the wine to do compliment. Mm. That's the main thing. Mm. As a customer, I would like to go to the restaurant. What should I order first, the wine or the food? To me, um, I always ask to our guests how you to eat the food today. What flavor you prefer tonight? Because you know, in normally you have a lot of flavor, a lot of things you want to try. You can have the spicy food, you have, you know, it's light food, you have heavy food. But tonight, what, how you feel? What you want? What you like? From that point, I will create something. I will mm -hmm. recommend you something. And that's what I do. And normally we say, oh, tonight, you know, I feel a bit, a bit tired. I want some light food. All yeah. oh, right, I got it. So then I recommend this is like without your foods and the dish we have we have a several dishes like food cheap whatever and this is the wine if you mm. are the consumer the, the customer, customer right? yeah. you go to the restaurant what you order first wine or food it's really like i always follow with my uh that recommendation i go for the wine food because how can i say uh i met a lot of waiter waitress they were mm. so nice and they said or oh, if you like really like this bottle of wine or this glass of wine mm. i gotta like get a hint for chef because like i can like reduce the salt reduce the the, the, the spicy yeah sometimes we get like right now is that right we have the modern hot setting yeah and uh, we had the interaction between the customer and the, the chef mm. you know like in the past when you had like the chef in packaging he created amazing amazing dish and you just be there and enjoy so i'm a young person. that's why i go for <laughs> i go for the wine part. okay and also like i want to start my dinner with like few glasses of wine talking and how is it like mm. uh maybe a long long time friend we're gonna like mm. how is it like ch chatting about like how what you're doing everything's mm. okay so drinking a bit tipsy and i go for the food mm. but if i have the family meal or maybe the busy meal right i gonna look for the set menu for, mm. and the wine gonna come later for oh, sure okay i only go for the compliment to be honest. Okay. Get, not every day you had the, the, the dining in the restaurant. Mm. You know? So when I go out to have a dinner, I want to be like really, really big and bow and explosion, like yeah. emotion, feeling like that. So that, that, that's how I do. Come back to the Australian wine. So Australian yes. Australia is um, 
the country who are in uh, the top 10 of the country in the world to produce and, and to make wine. They bring to the world a very high quality, friendly drinking wine mm. to the world and mm. especially quite friendly with Asian food, especially Vietnamese food. Yeah. Uh, do you think the Australian wine is go well with Vietnamese food? Yes, I'm sure because I, I cannot say that yes or no. I have to explain, right? Uh, I mean, you live in Australia, you know that yeah. we, uh, we, the community of Vietnamese, is a very, very huge, a big community. And also they had uh, a different ethnic. Also they had the Middle East, they had uh, a really diverse in the culture and also that's why I think right now or maybe like 30 years ago Australian wine started to make the wine eat really can I say like food friendly for the the, the whole culture like mm. start with Asia, Middle East even like for the really old European side mm. they still have that and also the Australian wine is very really diverse right? Mm. we know right now they have a, a hundred of Argentine grape they don't, they don't go for like Shiraz like in the past anymore. Because right now the young generation, they try to do a lot of different grape like Vermentino, they had like Nebbiolo in there. They even had the Santo Vese. Really diverse. And mm. that's mean you had a country to do the wine can sweet for any kind of using. Mm. So I gotta say that's a yes. No. But you have to take a look on the bottle and you have to take a look on like what you have uh, for the dinner or for the lunch. So it's a top question. So today, we bring uh, the special, very special Vietnamese uh, cheese food, yeah, another yeah, cheese yeah, food, yeah. and we, we mm. experience with uh, the red wine. Okay. So it, this dish is, is can say like beef bourguignon. Yeah, but bourguignon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so with Bokor on the table, what kind of wine are you recommend? Uh, if a uh, bottle of pretty nice Grenache or maybe the GDM, that it goes so well with all the spicy, uh, mm. also like lemon crab and also the gravy, the thick mm. nap in the bowl hall. So, so I think a bottle of red wine can be so well for the night. Bowl <laughs> hall with Australian red wine, GSM on the table, why not? A bit more. Huh. Spicy, but it's like it's always like very easy to drink. Like it's a smooth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very fruity, driving. Yeah. So this bottle is, I think, it can drink by its own. It can yes. drink by for appetizer or yeah. without food. It's yeah. Fine. So it's not wrong if we say that uh, Australian wine is very friendly drinking wine. It's so mm. easy. It is very, yeah. It's yeah. a very friendly drinking wine. But I think I really like about that uh, card GDM plan. This one, mm -hmm. because like uh, we know the Australian wine, they 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 had a lot of has inherited from the other culture. Mm. So GDM is basically French, mm. really French cheese one uh, for the blending, but they make it so great. The mm. the, the Aussie and uh, the Grand Nash. Yeah, dominant in here, and you can sniff out the, the, the candy, the cranberry candy, like that. It feels like not too sweet, but you have the candy line there, and mm. it's gonna be balancing with the own the, the the fresh or maybe like the spicy uh, from the from the Asian spine here. Yeah, it like the sweet and spine gonna go so well together. Yep. Uh, the the tannin finish uh, is is smooth. It's not like really tannin, you know. It's not uh, aggressive. Yeah, it's not the, aggressive it's at all. Smooth. Yeah, very smooth. Yeah. So let's go with some mm. bokho and see how it's yeah. Okay. <laughs> Doing a bit of chili, one this, you better have with this. But I'm, I'm sorry, a little bit like the colangio, I would say the flat coriander. Oh. And this one is so nice, so mm. fragrant though. And chef, how we like, we don't have this one in, in has a European cuisine, right? No. Yeah, this is the only, the only thing yes, in Vietnam. Vietnamese. Yeah. <laughs> Even <laughs> like Lao, Thailand, they, they don't have this one. No. Yeah. Oh my god. This one remind me, you know what this? Um, Kanchua. Yeah, Kanchua, yeah, yeah. We get the fragrant when, when your mom have a Kanchua like in the kitchen and you say like you can snip it down for like three kilometers away. So yeah. Like, I know like she have been Kanchua right now. Yes, oh. yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm like oh. myself. Mm. Mm. 
The soup is good. So talk about the soup. Uh, Vietnamese food is all about mm. soupy. We have a lot of uh, different noodles mm. um, like pho, like mien or mm. bún. But uh, translate into English, uh, we always say noodle. Yeah, noodle Even it's yeah. bún pho or mien. So is that soupy dish is difficult to pair with wine? Our, our cuisine, you know, we have a lot of, you know, soup, soupy, you know, we have a lot of, you know, gravy, um, you know, and that's really hard because, you know, red wine is is, is liquid as well. But yeah. it just depends on what you, f what you, how you want it. And, and it, like right now, I try to uh, bought a call with the glass red wine. It's perfect. It goes really well. For example, if you have Fuga, Ooh. you know, and then can you have a glass of red wine? Yes, you can. And you know, like even though like um, football, you know, Ming Bak is different with this uh, Ming Nam. Ming Bak, they have football with, you know, um, a red wine um, uh, broth, yeah. right? So where's it come from? Where's it come from? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, people already have it. Yeah. So that means already pairing with the red wine. Yeah. So the answer is yes. Yes, yes. definitely you and can. And yes do. for you too. Sometimes even like I said, like uh, we get me and how in the restaurant, so we try to like do elevate uh, a few dish. We mm. have the the inspired Mediterranean mm. cuisine, so we try to make that. But we focusing on the the key ingredient. Yeah. We don't we don't bring the both up of of her, uh, in the restaurant. Because it's hard for the sommelier to pairing it when you have the soup. Like the, 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 the wine liquid itself, right? Yeah. And we had the soup, it also the liquid and the matching by that, it not match so well. Yeah. But then when you have the, like a piece of pure play and it just do right now, yeah. I feel like wow, the print has been like spot on. So right now I said yes, but like be careful. You have to really, really be careful because that's a landmine. Yeah. If you step it wrong, it's gonna be like you kill yourself. Well, yes. yes. So it's a yet. Our cuisine is beautiful and because it's got a lot of flavor in there, um, you know, we use a lot of different ingredients for different soup and, and also uh, a different, uh, you know, part of Vietnam, there's a lot of different, you know, texture and, and the taste different, yeah. slightly different as well. We are working in a restaurant and we try, yeah, you know, of course, you know, so many we say, well, chef, you, you can't bring a bowl of soup like that, you know, into, on the table and you make, you, you ask me to pair it with the wine. Yeah, I think that that's part, not yeah. easy. And you know how it's easy, not that easy at all, right, sir? Play with this bottle. Mm. <laughs> so because of the wine is quite powerful, so yeah. we need to decant the wine, uh, make the aromas open, yes. and uh, wait for a little bit, and then we can taste. Uh, okay, this sure. One. Yeah, yeah. That's a really nice decanter, though. Is it that the special decanter for uh, uh, pen food? Yes, I think so. Oh, okay. Mm. It's, uh, it's called apple decanter yeah, from apple. Uh, Rido. Yeah. So now we will experience the twist food from Vietnam yep. with the premium wine from Australia okay. to see to how see. differently that. Okay, <laughs> I see it. I don't know about you guys. It looks very yeah. deaf and very kind of... But for me rich. right now, I'm going to sniff out. Okay. A lot of, a lot of really complex aroma. Okay. And solid, the color, right? Mm, the, the color is very, bold. very different with yeah. the other one. Very different with the Intense other one. Intense though, but hey. Well, let's see. We will see, right? Let's see how it can pair with um, uh, Bok Ho, you know? It's a big boy, yeah. It's yeah. Very big boy. Very better glass, huh? Yeah. Like the, the, the more rounded, you have the bigger air like that. You can sleep out a lot of that one there. Wow. Really Aussie vibe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I have to say that it's so typical Australian red yeah. wine. Very, very. I feel nutty, fat fruit, uh, driving oak, but yeah. very smooth. Yeah. The tannin is quite lingering and the penis is so long yeah. in our mouth. So let's go with Bokok. Let's, let's try it yeah. with that. So uh, right now I think it's really good with like some starchy, so the mm -hmm. fat, fat going to go so well. Mm -hmm. You want to softening on the, the, the good lead, you know, mm -hmm. and, like in the broth, like the fat in here. So good. It's really good. So how do you frame? What is the difference between the previous red wine with this bottle and Bokho? I, I have to say both of them are good, 
but this is good give it really is um it's a compliment to make that this is more enjoy last a while it's a really really super good more complex yes it's just powerful you know but look at the, the, the color but then when you have one buy up the bar car and you have a you know uh the, the red wine it's just beautiful it's really really well together yeah mm. it's really nice i have to say really nice this is really good good choice very good choice and you i think it's like there's a great choice of use they have this guy bottle uh we talking about like compliment and contract pairing before right yeah so uh we had the, the grenache is actually really good compliment but this one is like really contract because we had the cabinet from from the bocal the tiki the gravy and right now we had the greenhouse and tanning but not that aggressive tanning actually really good tanning mm. uh structured well and you had like the tanning he like go so surrounded yeah in your palace and when you had before you had the soup like i said before it's hard to have the soup and the water together so the soup gonna cover your mouth with only fat the good good fat and this one gonna be like washes away wash it and then you have the own the, the flavor the aroma in the wine go up to your nasal to your nose to your So what kind of wine we will go with the spicy food? To me, with the spicy food, it's going to have if for the white wine, then you go with something very fruity, uh, very you know, okay, light, you know, summery, refreshed. Uh, for the red wine, it's going with you know, meat, red meat for the flavor. You know, you can use kind of like this kind of similar uh, dish, but like with more heavier in the in 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 the the. the uh, with the sauce, you know, got more spice and they go well with this one. What kind of wine should go with seafood? I'm, I'm sure you agree with me. Yeah. It's a white wine. Uh, yeah. You know, a white wine is always go well with a seafood, you know, that's the way. That's, yeah. you know, that's the rule. Yeah. Really safe, no? Yeah. What kind of wine you go with dessert one? But to me, dessert is something a bit of sweet. You know, like a uh, wrapped up ending a dinner, a good meal. The dessert wine have to be like sweet dessert, uh, sweet wine. It can be riesling. It can be something like um, dry, right? yeah. 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 It's, like, it's it's going well with the dessert. You know that's kind of really wrapped up to your dinner. So what kind of food can go with white wine? Like I said before, I mentioned before, right? Like it's about the salt. If you had the creamy salt, like really has it. You look in the color for it. The salt has to be like white. Like we have both blanc, we have a lot of salt, and it's gonna go so well with a lot of chardonnay. Maybe some like Italian or uh, bread variety, and we have that in Australia also. Get they they grow a lot of bread, mm. uh, different like variety. So I think yes, all the sad part, but like white wine, I normally go for seafood. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. about white meat? White meat, yeah, I go for like really has a light body, uh, to medium plus uh, bread. It's okay. Okay. Too fine. Just okay. Too soft. It depends on the soft. Uh, what kind of food you go with bread? Red, I'm gonna go with some like gamey, really gamey, like, like the pigeon, right? We had like the rabbit and a lot, like, I'm not gonna eat that, but like, I do. Uh, also, the pig is a really healthy, safe choice, the lamb also. Thank you very much. And the last question I would like to ask is uh, what about the Versantine uh, in food and white pepper? Mm. Versatile, yeah, rosé. Yeah, rosé <laughs> <laughs> well, is always a safe choice for, <laughs> for all the dishes. You say, well, I don't know, red. I, don't, I can't uh, drink red, I can't drink yeah. wine. What in between? It's like rosé. And yeah. that rosé is it become very um, po more popular. Yes. As one day in Australia, everyone, eat, it's very summertime, they love rosé. Yeah. Everywhere you go, yeah, let's get more rosé. But now it's Vietnam, the people get to, slowly get to know uh, well about rosé so and of course it depends on the weather yeah if a hot day hey hey bottle rosé and where uh, yeah if we are like, you on have the, the beach Bobby. on yeah. the beach yeah. like, swimming pool like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, bbq you party can, like, in the right yeah. yard when he had the barbie on right yes yeah bring some bottle of rosé i think cheers go take a rosé i think we all agree <laughs> yeah. so cheers. cheers cheers why not huh? why, why not, not? Yeah. It's kind of interesting topic and I think it's never end. Thank you very much, uh, Anh Hoa and, and Pat, uh, for a very inspiring um, conversation today. And, and uh, I wish you all the best. 
thank you very much to being with us um, during five episodes of the Why Not. Thank you everyone to uh, a part of this conversation. And I hope after this topic, everyone will be very confident to pick the bottle of wine and why not. 